stereotypical intro burnout. So I don't have a Patrick Swayze, so I do get put in a corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Welcome back to Charlie's Corner. A question I get asked a lot is, how loud is an exhaust? What is making all that noise? What exhaust would be the best for me? And that's a very subjective thing. Um, what's loud to one person is completely different from what's loud to another person. So some things you might want to think about is, are my neighbors going to hate it? Is my significant other going to enjoy riding in the car? Am I going to enjoy riding in the car? Do I like to have conversations on long road trips? Oh. Say for your average everyday person, something like a cat back is definitely going to be the way to go. Um, you know, it's something you can easily install in your driveway with jack stands or ramps. Um, then you get, you know, a nice boost in sound level, but it's nothing that's going to rattle the glass out of your neighbor's house. Sounds good to me. Another step up from that is going to be a catted system. Catted systems with one of our cat backs are still very manageable. They cut down on the drone due to the fact they have cats or something in there to break up that sound in the exhaust. And then you have full on competition style catless with no muffler systems. Those are really only for guys that are gonna be taking their car to the track. Um, if it's something that you're gonna be taking to the odd car show once in a while, or you put it on a trailer, take it to the track, pull it off the trailer, race it, and then drag it back home, that's fine. But for most people, I would say something like a catted system with a nice cat back is gonna be the way to go. So drone is basically when the combination of vibration from the engine and the exhaust together hit the right frequency and you get a resonance that comes through the vehicle floor up into the cab. Um, some people can live with it. Personally, I can live with it, but a lot of people can. It drives them crazy. So that's something that I would definitely take into account when it comes to picking a system. Um, like I said before, what cuts down on drone is actually having something in there to break up the sound. Uh, cats. Does my car really need a new catalytic converter? Work great. Resonators work great. Our bullet mufflers. Um, those are really good ways to cut down on drone when they're put in the right places in the system. So you don't just have a big open piece of pipe that's gonna be bellowing into your car. Yeah, if you're looking for something simple, you can do in a couple hours on a Saturday yourself or with a few friends. A cat back's definitely the way to go. You can do it in your driveway, not a problem, a few hours. Now, if you really want to get into it, there are the full header kits, which in my opinion is the way to go. That's where you get the most benefit. You're going to get horsepower. You're going to get sound. You're going to get the cool factor when you pop your hood, having these big stainless steel tubes coming out of the side of your head. They look great. So if it's something that you find a little intimidating, there's no shame in finding a shop to do it for you. I've done it in the past when I haven't had the time. Plenty of people around this office have had shops do installs for them. No shame in it. And in all honesty, sometimes it's kind of nice. So if you have any more questions on this topic or any questions in general related to Cook's product, please reach out to me at tech at cooksheaders.com. That's T-E-C-H at cooksheaders.com.